Hello, I am Katy, and today we'll look at participle constructions and ways in which you can use them instead of a sentence. Heute schauen wir uns das Thema Partizipial Konstruktionen an. Ganz genau geht es darum, wie du die Anstelle eines Satzes verwenden kannst. But first, look at him. His name's Joe. Joe was playing tennis. He hurt his knee. You see two sentences. How can you say the same thing, but with fewer words? Think about it. It starts with Joe hurt his knee. Joe hurt his knee playing tennis. Gerade hast du gesehen, wie du aus zwei Sätzen einen machst. Playing tennis ist eine Partizipialkonstruktion, die du anstelle eines Satzes verwenden kannst. This is Michael. Michael was feeling tired. So, he went to bed early. Again, we can put the two sentences together and make one. Feeling tired, Michael went to bed early. Now look at her. When she finished her work, she went home. How can you make this shorter? I am going to help you a little. <laughs> she went home. Having finished her work, she went home. Und ich habe noch einen Satz für dich. When she was asked about the reason for her visit, my aunt didn't say anything. How can you make this much shorter? Again, by using the participle construction. This time it looks like this. Asked about the reason for her visit, my aunt didn't say anything. Now, let's come back to the beginning of this video. Joe hurt his knee playing tennis. I have a few questions for you. When did he hurt his knee? When he was playing tennis. So did the knee accident happen during the other action? Yes. Now compare that to this sentence. Having finished her work, she went home. Again, a few questions for you. When did she go home? After she finished her work. Did the two things happen at the same time? No, she first finished work and only then did she go home. Did one action happen before the other? Yes. Now I'll give you more situations and you think about when the actions happen, at the same time or one after the other. Kate is in the kitchen making coffee. In this situation, the two things happen at the same time. How about here? She walked down the street talking to her mother on her mobile phone. Again, the two actions happen at the same time. How about here? Having switched on the dishwasher, he sat down and watched television. Here, one thing happens before the other. Wir können es auch als Vorzeitigkeit bezeichnen. You can see the same situation here. Having found a hotel, we looked for somewhere to have dinner. First we found a hotel and then we tried to find some restaurant. So, you've just learned that if things are happening at the same time or one happens during another action, 
You can put the two sentences into only one sentence using this participle construction, ing. Kate is in the kitchen making coffee. But if one thing happens before the other, you use another construction, having plus ed, or the third form. Having found a hotel, we looked for somewhere to have dinner. Du hast aber auch noch eine andere Partizipialkonstruktion gesehen, nämlich diese. Asked about the reason for her visit, my aunt didn't say anything. Hier könnte man auch sagen, dass es um Gleichzeitigkeit geht. So, und jetzt besprechen wir nur noch eins. Nämlich das, was du in dem Titel von diesem Video siehst. Partizipialkonstruktionen anstelle von Adverbial setzen. Du kennst das aber eigentlich schon. Es war zum Beispiel dieser Satz. Having switched on the dishwasher, he sat down and watched television. Und der ursprüngliche Adverbialsatz, der ersetzt wurde, war After he switched on and so on. Wir haben es aber ersetzt und die neue Version lautet Having switched on und so weiter. Or the same here. Asked about the reason for her visit, my aunt didn't say anything. Der ursprüngliche Adverbialsatz war When she was asked, and so on, und ersetzt heißt es Asked, and so on. So, und jetzt kurz etwas zu den Partizipialkonstruktionen anstelle von Hauptsätzen. Kate is in the kitchen making coffee. Diesen Satz können wir uns auch als zwei Hauptsätze vorstellen. Kate is in the kitchen and she is making coffee. Wir können also den zweiten Hauptsatz in eine Partizipialkonstruktion umwandeln. Kate is in the kitchen making coffee. Good, that's really all for today. So remember, Gleichzeitigkeit wird meistens mit ing ausgedruckt. John heard his knee playing tennis. Aber Vorzeitigkeit mit having plus ed or the third form. Having switched on the dishwasher, he sat down and watched TV. Super! Thanks for listening. And don't forget to watch the practice video on this topic. Bye!